Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the uh, New Year and January Decode Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, solve these problems with me. Uh, let me know what you think about today's problem. Beautiful arrangement. Um, so I usually solve these lives, so with the explanations a little slow or whatever, uh, feel free to fast forward and just go for it with me uh, with the explanation as well. Okay, so beautiful arrangement. You have n numbers from 1 to n. The number at I physician to survive. Mm, okay. So naively, uh, the two things I think about naively, the first thing I think about is, well, n is le less than 15 or equal to 15. Um, in the worst case, it's going to be n factorial, which is 15 factorial for some kind of brute force um, backtracking. Um, there's probably... Um, there's a dynamic programming way as well. I don't know if it's fast enough. Um, should be fast enough. It should be 15 times two to the end. Um, but also I think the other thing to kind of think about is that even the 15 factorial one is probably gonna be too slow, but um, even though the, the, the analysis is gonna be a little bit tricky, it may be that it is still fast enough depending on how, um, you know, how, how much pruning there is. Um, and also the other thing to notice is that if it is fast enough, but but still, or if it's relatively fast, but not super fast for one second or whatever, um, the the time is that you have for for this problem, uh, you can also pre-compute the first fifteen um, numbers and then put it in a way to return. Uh, that's why I do it. If it needs to be, that's what I would do in a contest. But for me, for now, I'm going to try to do it with the bit mask um, kind of way first. And then, and let's see if it's fast enough. Yeah. So, so yeah. So basically, the bit mask uh, way will take. And the first thing that I do when I do it is that I do I do the math. I have a calculator up. I go two to the fifteen. It's thirty two thousand times fifteen. It's four hundred ninety one thousand, which should be fast enough. So let's give it a go. But uh yeah because 15 is a little bit tight but maybe not so I, i'm going to de define the bit mask and this is a little bit of a tricky technique i'll go over later but the idea about bit mask dynamic programming in general is, and and bit mask what is a bit mask right a bit mask is just basically um in the most simplest form we represent a set um represents a set as a number, right? As a binary number, more specifically, where you know a uh, a number in binary may look something like this, um, and that means that um, the foot, you know, the number one is used. I mean, and you could you know, uh, uh, th which significant digit uh, you use doesn't really matter, right? You could flip it either way. So basically, what I, this is saying is that uh, first number is used, second number is not, hence the zero. Uh, third is used, or three is used in this case, and so forth, right? Dot, dot, dot. That's basically it. That's what the one means, and that's, one means that the number in that position is used, and the zero means that the number in that position is not used, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, and and yeah, and the bit mask is just a, a very efficient way of representing it um, because... Uh, there, in this case, there will be at most 15 numbers. So that means that it's going to be a 15-digit binary number. Um, yeah. So basically, and here's our function. Basically, I'm just going to call it count, I suppose. Um, okay. Yeah, count. Um, I have an index, and I have um, uh, a bit mask, right? And an index is just uh, the i that, that shows up in this problem, right? Um, so that means that we... Yeah, this is the i that is in this problem. So we go one by one. You can think about it as generating one number at a time in the current i, right? Um, uh, index for the solution, right? Okay, so what do we have, right? If index is equal to n, then we're done, right? So this is zero because well, is it zero? It's either zero or one, right? This is just a base case of, well, there's no... Um, actually, this should be one, I think. 
um, because that means that you get to the end, this should be good. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, because there's one way to represent all the numbers being used. Uh, otherwise, then we just go for four. Um, next index, oops, next index in range sub n uh, or n plus one, because you want to go from uh, one to n plus one. And then if, and if you had, you know, used a, an array or something like that, you have something like if used of next index, right? Um, so what we're doing with this bit mask is that changing this um, this set essentially to to a equivalent uh, statement, which is that okay, with bit mask and one uh, next index, and I think technically because we count from one to n plus one, we actually want this minus one just to be you know more precise. Uh, if this is greater than zero, then we you know we have a total number of count. In total, we go or we count, you know, we use this index, so it's index plus one. Or next index is the wrong name. Um, it should be the number at this at at the i position, right? So this should be just um, I don't know number maybe, right? So this is index plus one, and then for bit mask, we want to uh, we know that this is oh oops, this should be equal to zero because that means that we it is not used, right? Uh, if this is equal to zero, that means that this bit um, with this offset is not used. Then we want to flip it to make it uh, used. And then at the very end, we just return total because we basically try every combination. Um, oh, well, this is kind of we didn't we actually I messed up, uh, which is that uh, yeah we didn't check one of these conditions right. So basically, if this is not used and uh, one of these things, which is if if index mod number is equal to zero, or number mod index is equal to zero, right? Yeah, um, then this is the case. And actually, I think this should be n plus one because that we actually want to start index from zero uh, from one to n. Uh, yeah, I mean usually uh, we do it from zero to n. But in this case, we actually want it from, from 1 to n. So, yeah. And then, and then now we just have to return, as we said, we start from the first index, and the bit mask is 0, and that should be good enough. Um, we don't cache. I mean, we have to cache this to make it fast enough, but let's kind of see if it's correct first. Um, are there other possible inputs? 1. Okay, fine. Right, so let's try. Let's give it a go. Hopefully, this is not too slow. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so even without caching, apparently this is fast enough. It takes a little bit slow though, um, and because the only uh, fifteen examples, we can definitely uh, just kind of look at it. Though this may be a little bit slow. Um, oh, it's still fast enough. So yeah, and just taking a look to see everything lines up. Everything is okay. So we got the right answer, and it's fast enough. Um, I could probably submit it, but um, but for now I'm going. I'm going to uh, cache it. Uh, I'm a little bit, not going to lie, I'm a little bit uh, sick today, so I'm going to skip what I usually do for dynamic programming, which is the caching part. But the idea is that I'm going to use um, a Python function, a decorator that is called the LLU cache um, that is in functools. Uh, and this is very Python specific, but the idea is that I'm now memorizing the, um, the answer to use in the future. So now for every every time, we get the same input, we have the same output, right? So what happens with LLU cache is that for every input that we've seen or we haven't seen before, we do this thing. And when we have seen it, then we just put it in a, or we take it from a place of storage and then uh, we turn it immediately instead of uh, doing this expensive function, right? Um, yeah, and you can see that this is immediately 10 times faster. So let's give it a go. Uh, this is a technique that I do, but I also urge that, to be honest, um, your beginner, um, don't do this yet. Definitely write it out so you could analyze the complexity, which we will do right now. Um, but again, I, I am feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm a little bit sick right now. So that's why I wanted to kind of skip through it a little bit. My apologies if uh, this is a little bit whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is accepted. Let's go over the complexity, right? Well, what is the space complexity? In this case, well, index can go from 1 to n inclusive, which means that there are you know, O of n number of uh, number of 
inputs for this one. And then bit mask goes from zero to two to the n because this is how the bit mask work. Um, every you know the every um, yeah every every uh, number can be used or not used. So it has two states, and then for n states, um, it's two to the n, right? So this is obviously just O of two to the n. Um, and as a result, uh, this this complexity is equal to uh, n square. Oh, well, let me go reverse, right? So these are the number of states. So the total number of states is equal to O of n times 10 2 to the n. And each state does, uh, you know, O of n work, right? O of n work. So total complexity is equal to just each state times work per state, which in this case will be n squared times 2 to the n, right? So that is the time complexity. And for 15, obviously, this should be fast enough. Um, and the other reason why this is fast enough, of course, is that if you look at the answer for 15, uh, there are actually a lot of unreachable states, right? 2 to the 15 is... Uh, what is 2 to the 15? 2 to the 15 is like big, right? It's like 32,000. Uh, so that times 15 is a lot, but um, but again, a lot of them are not reachable because of, why is it not reachable? Because of uh, there's this constraint. Um, so there are a lot of these states that are just not possible, right? So this is a, a worst case um, situation, but usually you're not at the worst case. So that's why in practice, this is faster. In terms of space complexity, well, we we um, each state requires zero one space. So because we have n time two to the n sta uh, states, that is our total space complexity. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, again, happy New Year and all that stuff. Hope you you know come along for the ride. Um, I am a little bit sick and tired, so. Uh, let me know how that goes. Uh, if you have questions, just ask in the comments or in Discord. We'll be happy to answer it uh, at my pace. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.